The new HP Envy X360 is one of the best on-the-go photo editing and design laptops with video editing capabilities that I've seen on my channel in quite a while. With its MX450 graphics and an Intel i7 1165G7, this all-aluminum laptop not only packs a punch, but looks great. I have taken the HP Envy X360 and run over 14 benchmark tests to create the ultimate creator-focused review of the HP Envy. We are going to look at benchmarks for 3D modeling, video editing, photo editing, design, and more. But beware, there is one element of this laptop that may keep you from making a purchase. Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If you're curious about the exact availability or price of the HP Envy X360, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. As I pulled the HP Envy out of the box, I was pleased to see a thin and light all-aluminum laptop that held firm attention to detail. Smooth beveled edges, two strong hinges gripping the articulating screen, and a sizable trackpad for the on-the-go creator. Speaking of the hinge, this laptop's articulating feature is smooth and easy to open and close. This allows you to quickly capitalize on the tablet vibes when the screen is rotated to 360 degrees, and I found it helpful for masking out my thumbnails when I find myself away from my main editing room. Rig. It's a good touch sensitivity with the pen, really, really good angle and press sensitivity. So the pen is included with the model I received from the HP store. However, if you order from another vendor, make sure you read the description of the listing to make sure the pen is included from where you're ordering. Sometimes vendors don't include the pens. I mean, it's not like it, it always happens, but just make sure you do your due diligence when you're picking out the one you're going to purchase. Since we are talking about the screen, let's take a look at the color gamut range and color accuracy of the HP Envy X360. According to my tests, the HP Envy with its full HD display can reach 265 nits at full brightness and has a color gamut range of 64% sRGB, 48% Adobe RGB, and 48% DCI-P3. This is an area I think they can make some major improvements on moving forward. Being that this is a laptop marketed you know, towards creators, especially artists, designers, and photographers, this is the biggest flaw that may keep you from purchasing this laptop, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. However, I will say that this laptop has all of the power and functionality you need to be the on-the-go creator. So make sure you hang on to later in this video when we get into those benchmark tests, and I can show you really the performance capabilities. Also, you can easily snag a mid-range screen with 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB for ensuring optimal color accuracy while grading your designs, photos, art, or video edits. So I'll link some in the description below if you want to check them out. There'll be a couple different options for you down there. The top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck on the HP Envy X360 are all aluminum. I wanted to mention as well that the side panels are a part of the keyboard deck, so the entire keyboard deck covers and extends down to the side panels, so it's one solid piece of aluminum. I like this because it removes any risk of these two pieces separating over time or during an accidental drop. We see this also on the ZBook, so these two models share that really good design feature. Speaking of the build, let's talk about how on the go this laptop really is. Weighing in at 4.2 pounds and at a thickness of 0.74 inches thick, this is a slightly heavier and thicker laptop than the HP ZBook G7, but still great for you if you're on the go creator. The 51 watt hour battery should give you roughly six to seven hours of web browsing battery life and about four to five hours of design and video editing battery life. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value and you want to save money on your next laptop or desktop PC purchase, then you don't want to miss out on my texting community, 850-306-4644. Again, 850-306-4644. A lot of things will be happening over there, but most importantly, what I'm most excited about is the weekly tech deals I'll be sending exclusively to my texting community. Every week, you'll get fresh lineup of the latest deals on discounted laptops, or PC parts or accessories delivered straight to your phone. Now, there's a few other ways you can directly engage with me. So text in there to find out. Again, 850-306-4644. I'm stoked to see you over there and connect with you. The port selection on the HP Envy X360 is generous. The port's as follows on the screen. This laptop totes a port that we have seen continue to disappear from most laptops on the market these days, an SD card reader. I'm happy to see HP still including this on their laptops and a number of other laptops in their lineup as well. Personally, it is an essential port for my workflow, allowing me to not have to scuffle around with pesky dongles when I'm on the go or out at a shoot. Moving down to the all aluminum keyboard deck, HP has placed a spacious full-size keyboard. The keyboard on the HP Envy X360 is great. 
firm creep pass with a fulfilling snap when the keys are activated, while also remaining quiet. I'll provide you with a short audio sample here in just a minute. The trackpad is great as well. It is very quiet when the click is activated, and the trackpad is firmly secured to the chassis. It does not have like any weird wobble or shakiness. The trackpad is very nice for creators. Dragging new shapes, conducting edits, and working in apps like Photoshop will be complemented very nicely by this trackpad. Okay, I'll pause here for a second. You can check out, listen to me typing, and then using the trackpad. This laptop does come with a 720p webcam, so you won't miss out on those crucial virtual meetings. If the need arises, so just keep that in mind, you're good to go there. This laptop has excellent ventilation on the keyboard deck, behind the keyboard deck, and bottom cover. These vents are able to cool this laptop well during the test coming up in just a minute. But since we're talking about it, let's show you those thermal results on this laptop right now. As you can see, the HP Omen stays cool, in fact, substantially cooler than most laptops I've had on my channel. So if you're looking for a laptop that does not get hot, this will motivate you towards the HP Envy X360. Really, really cool laptop. Well, style and temperature. Now that we have gone through all of the details concerning the build and usability of this laptop, let's dive into the performance specs. The HP Envy X360 I'm reviewing comes with the Intel 11th Gen Core i7 1165G7 with four cores and eight threads. The NVIDIA GeForce MX450, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD. Come on, don't make fun of me. I just did that. You know, I'm just having fun, guys. All right, so now let's kick things off with the Photoshop benchmark from Puget Systems. I use this benchmark to see how well laptops can handle the most intense tool in Adobe's design suite. If a laptop can perform well in Photoshop, it will handle InDesign and Illustrator with ease. In the Photoshop benchmarks, the HP Envy X360 is sitting in the mid-range of my test results charts, coming out with a 601 on the Photoshop benchmark score. Definitely a suitable laptop for Photoshop tasks. You can also use this reference if you're considering other design or photography focused software such as Affinity Photo, Sketch, and Figma. Now that we know this laptop can handle the Adobe Design Suite, let's check out how well it can handle motion design inside of After Effects. As you can see, the HP Envy is pulling off a 678, which for this test and for this you know, mobile pro uh, processor, it's a really solid score. Um, which to me is surprising because this laptop utilizes the G-Series processor and the MX450 GPU, which is not a mainline powerhouse GPU compared to what other laptops are carrying in the same range of benchmark scores, such as the Lenovo Legion 5i and the Helios 300. Not bad, HP. And for the After Effects test, it is snagging a score of 316. Now, this is where we see the more powerful GPUs as beneficial over the MX450 that the Envy has. If you're someone doing a lot of motion design, this would not be your laptop. I would lean you towards the HP ZBook or the HP Omen as these have more powerful GPUs which will yield well inside of After Effects renders. In the Geekbench single core and multi-core, the HP Envy handled itself well, attaining a 1550 on the single core benchmark, placing it at the top end of my results. I'm quite impressed by the single core performance of this laptop, which is why it is giving us such great program results. However, in the multi-core, it was only able to garner a 4,326, which places it right on the lower end of my test results. With the four cores and eight threads, it just doesn't have what it takes to be that multitasking beast. But it is still very strong in individual programs as we have seen so far. And if you have, let's say, InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop open, you should be totally fine. But if you, you know, start to do video editing and open up Google tabs and all this other stuff, it might start to bog you down. If you're someone that works heavily in multitasking situations, I would consider picking up something like the HP Omen, which has the Ryzen 7 4800H. As you can see, it sits in third place out of all the laptops I've reviewed on my channel, and I'll link that in the description below as well if you want to check it out. Moving into the 3D modeling benchmarks, let's take a look at the Cinebench R20. The HP Envy X360 did not fare so well. It scored 
a very low 1,127. This laptop is not going to be your go-to laptop for 3D modeling and big motion rendering projects. This is further confirmed as I ran dedicated 3D modeling tests. In Autodesk 3ds Max, we see a 37.65. In Autodesk Maya, we see a 59.89. PTC Creo, we see a 66.24. In SolidWorks, we see a 44.05. Again, um, for the Blender Classroom test, this took about 27 minutes and 41 seconds for the GPU. So like I said, if you're going to be getting in any programs like this, the HP Omen is going to be your go-to, something along those lines. Now, I don't show you these tests to disappoint you or turn you away from this laptop. Not at all. I show you these tests to reveal the optimal use case of this laptop. So far, it's fantastic in the Adobe Design Suite and kills it for single task performance or, you know, two to three task performance. Now, let's move into video editing and we'll see if you can get an opportunity to do some edits on this computer. First, I'm going to start with a playback test. For this test, I'm going to take a nine minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro, add some motion graphics, and then play it back in the timeline at full quality. This clip contains 16,177 frames in total, with 7,240 of those frames being motion graphics. During this test, the HP Omen X360 saw drop frame rates as follows. At full quality, 4,969. At half quality, zero drop frames. And at fourth quality, zero drop frames. Now that 5,000 drop frames is definitely a handful of drop frames, I personally don't think it will be a very, very smooth experience, and from my experience, it wasn't, but dropping it down to half or fourth quality or even just editing 1080p rather than 4K, you'd be really, really solid on this laptop. Now, I was running this test with only Premiere Pro open, so I will say if you start multitasking on your laptop while editing, you may experience more drop frames at full quality, but you can easily drop it down to half or fourth quality to keep your editing experience smooth. To render out the 7,240 frames of motion design in that project, it'll take 7 minutes and 34 seconds, which is pretty solid for the i7-1165G7 and the NVIDIA MX450 equipped laptop. Moving on to the 4K export test, I'm going to take a 9-minute 4K clip, place it in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve using the free version of Resolve, and then export it out at 1080p and 4K YouTube settings. Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export took 9 minutes and 37 seconds. 4K to 1080p took 8 minutes and 8 seconds. DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K took 36 minutes and 1 second. And DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p took 20 minutes and 24 seconds. So if you're planning on editing in Premiere Pro, you'll be clear with slightly slower export times than some of the more powerful workstations and gaming laptops that you see on my channel, but the HP Envy X360 still was able to accomplish the test in a fairly respectable time, just a little slower than those big mainline gaming powerhouse laptops. Earlier, we took a look at the thermals and component usage of this laptop, but no review would be complete without checking into the noise that this laptop produces while running these programs and benchmarks. At idle, we heard no fan noise. While web browsing, about 32 decibels. Um, Photoshop benchmarks, about 44 decibels. 4K to 4K export 47 decibels, and then DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export about 46 decibels. So this laptop is pretty quiet. Um, I was I was impressed, honestly. You know, I, I thought you know maybe because it you know has a G series processor and then the MX450, it would be like really really quiet. But it wasn't really, really quiet, but it was quieter compared to most beefy gaming laptops. So where you will sacrifice waiting a few extra minutes for your export, you won't annoy your desk neighbor with your laptop sounding like a SpaceX launch pad is going off next to them and you're heading into orbit or something, which is like happens a lot with these gaming laptops. So if you're looking for a two-in-one articulating laptop with really nice benchmarks in Adobe Design Suite, good benchmarks in photo editing, excellent pen capabilities, in a thin and light all aluminum package, this laptop is great for any on-the-go creator looking to upgrade or snag their very first laptop. Pair it with a color accurate monitor and you have yourself the ultimate creator workstation. Now, if you're curious about the exact availability or pricing of this model, you can head down in the description below and click those links. And remember, if you want to get deals texted directly to your phone, text me at 850-306-4644. Join my texting community. I'd love to see you over there. More videos about the HP NVX360 over here. Otherwise, keep creating, keep designing, Keep editing. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.